I'm delighted to be attending this year's clinical endocrinology update. This year, I'll be participating as a speaker. I've been given the topic, when not to give testosterone to patients. It's a funny topic, but we endocrinologists are constantly being asked by men, what about testosterone? What about low T? Will it make me feel better? Will it make my sex life better? Will it make me stronger? When we're faced with these questions, we have to answer the question, does this man benefit from testosterone therapy if I prescribe it? Easy question to ask. And yet we clinical endocrinologists know how very difficult it is to answer those questions. My session will be dedicated to answering the question, how do you determine whether this man is hypogonadal and will benefit from testosterone therapy? What about the man who has very, very mild hypogonadism or has very borderline low serum testosterone concentrations? Do the benefits exceed the risks? What about those men who might be at high risk from side effects from testosterone therapy, men with known prostate cancer, or somebody who wants to conceive a baby? In these settings and others, testosterone therapy may not be warranted. In my session, we'll talk about how to approach men who have these clinical scenarios and what to do about them and how to treat them without administering testosterone. I always enjoy attending this meeting. It's a small, intimate atmosphere where I get to ask and answer questions. I get to interact with my colleagues. I get to see the very best speakers and experts in clinical endocrinology. This year is no exception. The very best and most renowned experts in the field, you can ask your hard, difficult clinical questions and expect to get practical answers with profound detail and an opportunity to ask follow-up questions. This is not possible in any other meeting. I'm looking forward to attending this year's clinical endocrinology update, and I look forward to seeing you there as well. I always enjoy it, and I'm sure you will too.